Hello everybody, I would like to start uh, this lecture by discussing how can we modify the MIPS data path to include a branch of equal instruction. As you remember, branch of equal works if T0 equal equal T1, it will go actually to the address where label is, which is in our case 0x110. Branch of equal ra uh, is at uh, address 100. So, as you know, branch of equal is an I format instruction and uh, it has a 16 bit immediate N. So, this is N. So, if we want to apply the formula PC target is equal PC of branch plus 4 plus 4 N, here we can say that this is PC target is 0x110 minus 0x104 is equal 4n. So here the result will be 12. 12 in decimal is equal 4n implies n is equal 3. So this 3 will be the 16 bit immediate here that will actually be transformed into uh, 32 bits here okay so now what we need to do is for this modification is manipulate PC in order to recreate the address 0x00 all once so first let's say I want to recreate the address so I need to get PC plus 4 and add to it 4N. So this is the line PC plus 4. Okay, this is a 32 bit number. And now I need to add 4 times N. We already know that N is equal 3 in our example. So this is 0x, 1, 2, 3, 4. 32 bits equal to 3. So this is the line that we need to add to it. But before adding, I need to shift it left by 2. Why? Because we know when we shift left by 2, we multiply by 4. So I get this line. Okay. Do a shifting operation. Shift left logical by 2. 2 times. And here I have 4n. Now, in order to recreate this, I need to add it. This is an adder, 32 bit adder, with PC plus 4. This is PC plus 4 again. This is 4N. And now I have PC plus 4 plus 4N. Now, as you know, we cannot branch anytime we need to branch only when t0 equal t1 so this happens when we have we can do a subtraction between the content of these i have here uh, rs the content of rs the content of rt which is t0 and t1 they do a subtraction and here i need to add another bit which is the zero bit so the zero bit here if it's one then this means the result is zero so when z is equal one this means we should branch however so this should be a decider okay remember that i need to modify my data path in a way that will not disrupt the normal operation of the MIPSA processor so now what I want to do is I will take the old value PC plus 4 when we don't need to we don't need to branch this will be 0 and 1 so what controls this multiplexer well it should be a combination of two things if I have a branch and if the result is 0 so a simple AND gate this will be 
0 bit and if I have a branch I'm gonna call it B so this is a new control line called B for branch and or I can say this is branch B and this result will be fed into PC so now I have the operation PC plus 4 then I will add the sign, uh, the sign extended multiplied by 4 n okay which is fed in the instruction added with PC plus 4 to generate PC plus 4 plus 4 n and then I have the choice if the branch is true this means Z equal 1 and branch equal 1 this is an AND gate if both of them are 1 then we do the branch and this is how the branch occurs now if I want to write down what are the control lines so for the register write uh, it's going to be 0 ALU source this is 0 1 so for the ALU source I need to choose RT so this will be 0 register destination I don't care about it because I'm not writing anything to the register file memory read should be 0 memory write should be also uh, 0 this can be also be X don't care memory to register I don't care about it and the branch should be equal to 1 to indicate that we have a branching instruction remember for the choice of X we never use on the right any axis because I don't want to uh, destroy any of the old variables I have by mistake so register write and memory to, uh, memory write should always be zeros or one in case they are set so this is the modification for branch of equal now in the case of uh, jump label so what I want to do I'm gonna use the same example I'm gonna assume jump instead of a branch I have a jump label it's located at 0x100 it's going to jump to 110 now if I write the address in binary I know for a fact that the 26 bits that come from the J format is done by taking out those two bits the two zeros and then those four bits which is from PC plus four now to to modify the data path to recreate the, to include this uh, instruction in our uh, uh, architecture what we need to do is to manipulate PC plus 4 so as you know we have here PC plus 4 and here we have 4n and then here we have PC plus 4 or PC plus 4 plus 4n plus 4 plus 4 uh, plus 4n okay so we either have PC plus 4 or PC plus 4 plus 4n now this will go into the PC we need to add another option for J so first what we need to do is we need to take this 26 bits okay so remember this is 26 bits remember here we just took the 16 bits for N now we're taking another line for the 26 bits for this 26 bits I need first to add two zeros to recreate the address so let me make a little bit farther so I'm gonna add those two bits but here I'm gonna have 28 bits that's two so adding here this just adds two zeros two zeros so here now I have 28 bits now from PC plus 4 I'm gonna take bit this is bit 31 30 29 till 28 so I'm gonna take four lines which are from PC plus 4 which are bit 31 till 28 okay and concatenate them with with these 28 lines to have 32 bits now I'm, I'm just 
as we know that buses are just collection of wires so here I have 28 wires and I just concatenated with them four wires to recreate this address so this is here is the jump address I need to add here another multiplexer so this is zero this is one so when jump equal one I will choose I will choose this uh, address and of course this should be fed back to PC so in this uh, to repeat again we have 26 bits which are these bits this is the 26 bits that the instruction holds it holds this is the label we need to add two zeros and this is where we we shift left by two uh, but here we don't shift we actually add those two zeros on the left side sorry I, on the right side we add on the add two zeros on the right okay we shift by two to the left by adding two zeros on the right and then take pc plus four the four most significant bits add them to this line here we have uh, uh, 28 bits here we have four bits now we have 32 bits and this is how we can create the jump